Well, it's been a while, but it's time to figure out what you've been watching. So this is the thing that I do where I talk about stuff that I'm watching. I ask you, have you seen this? And most of the time you have because <laughs> um, if you don't know, it's been over 10 years since I've actually had cable. So I consume all of my television um, entertainment through the internet, whether it be Hulu or Amazon Prime or Netflix or just YouTube, whatever. I'm really not a big television watcher, which is why I don't have a whole bunch of catch up on. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's stuff that I've been watching since the beginning of the, the year. Like, I, I don't live under a rock. I do watch stuff, but I'm more into reading books and going to watch movies in the theater, which we don't do that a whole lot because we work a lot and going to the theater is expensive. So that's where, you know, sometimes if I've got a day off and I don't have any stuff to do around the house, then I will binge watch something. So I do watch television, just not that much. So here's what I've been watching. Now, for some strange reason, <laughs> I don't know why, my husband and I actually started watching old episodes of the AMC show Comic Book Men. We've been watching that on Amazon Prime. I don't know why. We just started doing that. So we do that from time to time. And <laughs> this is kind of a funny story. I've been watching a lot of Shaun the Sheep. And well, basically, I was looking for a particular clip that I thought would be good for one of my clients. And I had it on one day. And my dog Margie really seemed to kind of respond to it. Um, you know, she doesn't really get into TV. For her, when the TV is on, it's just an indicator that we're home, we're not going anywhere, we're settled down. So she likes the sound of the TV, but she doesn't pay attention to it. Except for with Shaun the Sheep. There was another show a while back called Sarah and Duck that she really kind of responded to also. Um, we watched that on Netflix, but it's not on there anymore. And so I was checking on Amazon Prime to try to find this clip that I thought would be good for a client. I saw that my dog kind of responded to Shaun the Sheep. And then the next time there was like a really big storm and she was upset and she didn't like the sound, I turned on Shaun the Sheep and it really helped her calm down. I think because if you've ever seen the show, it's, it's claymation. So I think she kind of likes the way the images move around the screen. Like she knows they're not people, um, but she doesn't really know what they are. And if you've ever seen the show, they don't talk on the show. They just kind of like make sounds and kind of mumble a little bit. And I think she likes that, the fact that there's no one talking, but there is music and sound to it. Now, over on Netflix, which is where I do most of my watching, um, I, like I said, I do also watch Hulu. Um, I was actually, I haven't, I haven't done what I call appointment TV in years where you watch stuff when it airs or like the day after. But I did do that with the Cloak and Dagger series when it when it was out. And that was really a lot of fun, but that's kind of come and gone. So <laughs> I, I'm mentioning it here, but that's not what I'm watching right now. Um, but I just finished watching season two of The Iron Fist. That's one of the Marvel shows that's on Netflix. And I would say out of all of the Marvel content that they've created on Netflix, which I know will eventually move to their streaming service, whatever. Um, Iron Fist was probably my, I don't want to say it was disappointing, but when you compare it to the other content, it was disappointing. It was, I thought it was still a good show. It just wasn't my favorite of the shows. And I will say that I did not like the way it ended. With that said, um, season two was way better than season one. Um, it still had some of those elements that I thought were kind of silly from the first season. Um, just kind of the way that they portrayed Danny Rand and things like that. Eh, whatever. It was significantly, it was a significantly better ending to season two than the ending to season one. The watching the end of season two actually made me want to be like, are they going to do another one? <laughs> when I saw the end of season one, I was like, I don't really care if they do another solo. Iron Fist, like I'm, I was hoping at some point they would merge the Iron Fist show 
Iron Fist show and the Luke Cage show together because in the comic books Luke Cage and Iron Fist are really good friends and even though I always felt like the Luke Cage show could stand on its own I didn't necessarily feel that about the Iron Fist until seeing season two so anyway I thought that was really good another thing that I just finished watching and when I say just finished I mean like a day ago I'm recording this now you know um, a show called Sisters I don't watch a lot of like TV dramas it's just I don't know I just I never really have I think when I was in high school the show 90210 was out and I watched like the first two seasons of that but that show went on to like they were in like college and stuff I, I just I didn't keep up with it I don't watch a lot of TV dramas but I like this show sisters this first season was just like what um the concept is that this guy is supposed to be a fertility doctor he's won like a Nobel prize turns out that he's been using his own sperm to impregnate all these women and so the main character of the movie is a woman named julia who finds out she has all these new siblings and um most of them are men and there's two other women so she, now she for the first time in her life she has sisters which you think would be great but it's drama and like crazy drama <laughs> so it was a really good show I mean yes it's a dramatic show but just from the the nature of it there's a lot of unintentional comedy I guess but it was, it was just really good so I just finished that and I'm looking forward to the next season another show I recently discovered um, I don't know if it's a new show, but it is a new to Netflix show. Therefore, it is a new to me show. And that is called Hilda. And apparently Hilda was based off a graphic novel series, which this really kind of, you know, makes me want to kick myself. Like, I wish I had discovered the graphic novel, but that's okay. I'm really enjoying the show. It's a children's show, but it's really good. Like, I... I would totally have read this graphic novel. This little girl and her mom live in a world where like magic and these creatures and things exist that they're just part of the world. Like it's just just how it is. And she lives in the wilderness and she has to move to the city. And at first she doesn't want to move to the city, but of course, you know, once they move, it's I don't I can't really describe it for you. It's magical, it's whimsical, and even though it's for children, it's sophisticated enough, I believe, to entertain an adult mind, especially an adult who appreciates good fantasy and fiction and magic and stuff like that. So I like it. You know, I am almost finished with it. Well, with what I'm almost finished with the first season. So anyway, Hilda, check it out. And then the last thing I want to talk about, if you haven't heard about this show, I don't know where you've been because it's a Netflix original and I think this is like a true Netflix original because sometimes Netflix originals are shows that they've picked up from other places and they just have exclusive rights but I believe this is a true Netflix original meaning that it was created for Netflix and it's called The Dragon Prince and again this is another animated show that's supposed to be for kids but this show is the bomb. Like I can, I'll even concede that there are some people who may not get the little Hilda show because it's too kiddish or whatever. But no, like if you like dragons and elves and Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, like you will like this Dragon Prince show, even though it's for kids. It's it's really good. I mean, my husband, like my husband, watched it with me because like sometimes I'll watch stuff. And it's just me, but even my husband watched it with me. And it was really good. So, yeah, The Dragon Prince. Check it out. <laughs> so that's what I've been watching. Have you seen any of these shows? Is there anything you want to recommend to me? And like I said, it's been so long since I filmed one of these shows. There's other stuff that I've seen but I just can't remember it all. So if you want to leave me a comment and say, hey, did you check this show out? I'll reply because I may have. I just didn't talk about it in this video because it's been so long since I've posted. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.